Uh, hello folks and welcome back to Vijayanagar. In our little colonial empire, we have Australia, we have the Cape, we are expanding to Yemen there, we have some bases around the Indian Ocean, and we also have a uh, burgeoning colonial state in South America. So, the future looks bright for us. We haven't really expanded much on the continent itself here, uh, the subcontinent rather, but we we will uh, we will do our best, I think, in the next uh, 50 to 100 years here to to uh, unify Bharat. We're gonna aid Bengal in their war here. Uh, they want Pathethan, Pathethan, or whatever this is, uh, but we occupy it. So we're gonna siege this down and then push in here. Uh, see what we can take from that. I know this is expensive, but we're gonna try again. Circumnavigate the globe. Good luck. We didn't get anything from the war. Really? Damn it. That was pointless. I can get another free admin policy. Um, I think changing these actually doesn't cost anything, right? Wait, if I click here... What, what is this? Uh, for at least 10 years until it can be replaced. But replacing it doesn't cost anything, so you know what? We'll just uh, choose this, actually, and uh, lower our, de our development costs. Let's invade the Guarani and uh, go ahead and take that land. We're about to lose our circumnavigation fleet, I think. Uh, it's just a matter of, yeah, 18%. All right, we've lost it again. Damn it, and just as our ships sink, the Portuguese have circumnavigated the globe. The question is, how did they do it? They probably got military access through someone, right? Because that is not, I mean, wait, did they, they, no, they don't own that. That's probably a claim they have. Uh, yeah. Military access through Kado. Huh. Okay. Strange. Full annexation, thank you very much. Ah, the French did push into the Indian Ocean. I don't particularly like that at all, actually. Uh, so we are going to expand here in Africa, make sure that we surround that trade area and uh, try to halt the expansion of European powers in the region. Gujarat and Del Delhi, oh god, my voice, uh, have already embraced <sighs> global trade, it seems, but uh, we're slowly getting it in our country. It started down in uh, in our global trade ports, and hopefully, yeah, we also have it there, it there in the Cape, a little bit in the colonial regions. I think our colonial nation here in Australia... No, not so much, but uh, we're definitely going to embrace it as soon as we can. New Deccan, our colonial nation in La Plata. I think it's a pretty good name. Alright, let's go to war. We have 40,000 men here. I think this should be about enough. Come, it's sighted. Uh, the classic event. And the French are in Congo as well. That worries me. Uh, French are actually quite powerful in this run. Hopefully they don't get too many colonial nations, though. Two wars at the same time, I think so. It's our only way to uh, take a bunch of shit at the same time and be able to move into uh, the territory we need here. Ah, here we go, an embassy from Denmark. So, a man presenting himself as Captain Pike has approached Akaria the first. He claims to represent the king of Denmark and asks that we let them create a trading factory in our port in North Kanara. In return, he offers financial compensation and protection from other Europeans. So we could get they'd get a permanent claim on North Kanara. Uh, I guess they wouldn't actually get the province, hopefully. Uh, but you know, I think that this would sort of start becoming a thing and then suddenly we have to give away the province so I don't really trust these small fish do I no no I don't the age of absolutism is here all right um, so what can we do own five universities 
Uh, we actually have three trade companies, so that's okay. We are almost at the large army. Multicultural nation could be something. But yeah, we're definitely gonna get quite a few of these, I think. The Papal State is also in the Congo. Ooh, things are getting uh, spicy here. I think we're still uh, gonna focus on these islands here because, you know, this is a source of great wealth in the world. Alright, let's take stuff from Malindi. They won't be too happy here in the region, but, you know, whatever. We're still, we're already fighting them. Alright, let's take a little bit more here. Like so. So now we have that. And now we actually border Kilwa here in certain places so that we can take their stuff. Ming California. I thought this was Portugal for a second, but yeah, Ming California. That's not... Uh, that does not make me happy. And also I see maybe how Portugal did this since they have both sides of the Mexican area there so they can... Uh, go here, then maybe go into like Spanish ports and then go... Yeah, I think they're... They probably got access through someone. Alright, Kilwa. Uh, so I can have up to 42 more here because we're still coring stuff. I don't... I really don't want to pass 100 over extension, so we're gonna take these things and... Uh, you know, it will be enough. I also made them release Moravi there. Bohemia's the emperor. Ooh, interesting. Have you been the emperor for a while? You must have been, because Austria seems to have been destroyed, and the Ottomans are on the gates of Vienna, basically. Look at that. I took a few loans here. Let's embrace global trade. I can't be bothered to wait too much, and then we get an extra merchant. God damn it, France is here. France is here. I really don't like that. I need Lanka to start uh, expanding faster. Why are you not colonizing fast enough? So I've had this um, little piece of shit here for like hundreds of years as a vassal, but I think we are going to break that vassalization. And uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to break that vassalization. Just let them exist here. We're probably gonna try. I don't know if I should vassalize someone or if I should give offering them lines to some big power. You know what? Let's ally Spain since they don't like France and Russia. They are our natural friends for now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I could actually go ahead and declare war on Malwa. Jean Port would not join. I was about to prepare a war against Gujarat Sindh and Delhi there, but uh, this is... we're gonna jump on this. I'm a big fan of influence ideas, so that's what we're gonna take. Alright, I don't think anyone else uh, or anything else will be uh, will be able to take here. Uh, we're doing this to border provinces that we need. This province we need to form Barat. This province here we need to form Barat. And these two are part of our mission, so uh, fantastic. Oh, it's time to strike. Both Sindh and Delhi would not join in if I attack Gujarat. Oh, yes. You know what? Let's also call in Bengal just for the sake of it. Uh, actually, maybe I should mark an area of interest before we start. I can't really be bothered to fight any longer with uh, all these people here, so we might risk a big coalition, but honestly, it's not too big of a problem. I mean, the main problem here is Jeanpour. I'm not sure they they have the guts to actually declare war on me, though. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take this and see what we get. Ah, oh, fantastic. Yeah, I sort of need to stop expanding here in India for a while. At least until uh, the people settle down. Political absolutism. So we gain yearly absolutism, or mac and we increase our maximum absolutism. Or we can separate the legislative houses and get a free admin possible policy. Ooh, that's tasty. And then we can become a republic or a theocratic government. I'm not really interested in either of these. Uh, I mean, I have no real reason to do any of these. So. Yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna look at. Let's take a look at policies. Uh, what po potential policies we could get? Income from vassals. Yeah, you know what? Let's uh, 
Let's go for uh, political absolutism. Ah, the age of our great leader. Um, what are they called? What was he called, rather? He was called... Akaria the first has come to an end, and there are pretender rebels, but they should be crushed quite swiftly. Considering we're at a time of non-expansion, I think we're gonna go for that extra diplomatic reputation there. Alright, let's call Spain in uh, to this war here against English La Plata. Take Rosario as the Gorgol, and let's march. We're gonna get some Caribbean stuff, we're gonna get La Plata, and that's about it. Oh, I didn't actually know there was a second circumnavigation, so I just started our ships on a voyage, because, you know, we don't we didn't really have anything else to explore. And apparently we can we actually get 10 prestige and 10 navy tradition to do this. We're not the first to have managed to circumnavigate the globe, but nevertheless is a it's a great feat and we'll celebrate or and we'll be celebrated throughout the land. Excellent. Oh, you bastards. <sighs> I tried to stop the Europeans at every cost, and now they are on our mainland. God damn it. Oh, shit. But, thankfully, I've heard that Spain is preparing an attack against France. And, uh, the French are not allied with many very powerful countries. It's mostly shitty countries. Whilst we dominate the, uh, the region here. Ah, lo and behold, there is the war. We will accept and we will march to take what is ours. Actually, what do we border? We bordered that as well. We could take that. The Americas, there's not much we can do. Oh, they also have shit here, really. The bastards. Alright, I know where this war is going. We are definitely going to lose this. Um, so I think I might actually peace out separately, because, you know, whatever. Uh, plus we'd need actually 10 war score, and to do that we'd actually have to invade mainland France. And I just cannot be bothered, so, uh, why peace? Invading islands is probably one of the things I hate the most in the U4, but uh, we have to do it in order to secure this region here. We have a new king, or rather not, we have a regency for our eight-year-old son. And, uh, yeah, things are going pretty okay. We're gonna have to choose a new person here, though. I think we'll, we'll go with, uh, the usual Shiva. I wanted to take more, but we lost a few battles, so we'll just take this over here. And, uh, then we'll come back for them later. Oh, God. Hermuz calls me to a war. Sure, go ahead. Good luck, by the way. Are you kidding me? You want me to fight Ming? Spain is crazy. Like, I don't know... Ah, oh, you're crazy. Yeah, you're insane. I'm not gonna fight Ming. There's no way. I changed Ming for the Ottomans as allies. The Ottomans no longer hate me, so... You know what? We also might get a royal marriage. Oh, whoops. One of our islands defected to uh, the English West Indies because they had rebels there and I totally forgot about that. Eh, you know what? I can't be bothered. They're beating us back. The, somehow, this three-star general, Mamlukian, I get it, three-star general and it's their homeland, but they he wiped out two of my stacks and it was super... Oh, God. It was so sad. You know what? Yeah, let's uh, separate piece. At least I got this, though, during the, the war, uh, and this is one of the provinces I need to form Barat. And there's more war! Fantastic, alright, so, we're now at war with the Oret Horde, jean Poor, and a bunch of shit. Oh my god, so much shit. Jesus. But hopefully we can uh, grab a few things. I'm not really sure it will happen, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we'll probably have to build new armies as well. Ah, great. We don't even get manufactories. I tried my best, but let's see. Where did it spawn? It spawned in Hanover, of course. God damn it. Anyway, almost got carried away there. I think we'll end this episode right here. We've played another 50 years. I think our expansions have been actually quite 
decent this time. We have a proper colonial world in the Americas, uh, only one though. We have a few holdings of the, in the Caribbeans, uh, including the Bahamas and that, or turning that into Tobago. And we've expanded on the African coast here, uh, the East African coast, and yeah, things are looking good. The French and the Portuguese have been able to break through our lines and have started colonizing things, but it's a very small amount. Uh, Gujarat gave away a port there. Uh, they somehow got a port here, they colonized this, and they took a thing over there. Portugal, on the other hand, has colonized that area. Uh, this thing here, uh, that, and they're starting in New Zealand, uh, but so am I, so it's a matter, just a matter of time here before we go ahead and uh, win. So, thank you so much for watching, this has been Game Gapster. don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, I'll see you later, farewell.